My next guest is an award-winning filmmaker and photographer who's made a name in the art world by using her lens to tackle hard-hitting topics like privilege, social activism, and politics. She teamed up with Grammy Award-winning artist John Legend for the film Southern Rights. It's a documentary based on her published photographs in 2009. Now, in her new book, Family Matters, Jillian turns her lens on her own family, sharing 20 years of photographs that explore the meaning of family. Jillian Laub joins us now from her home in New York. Jillian, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So you've been photographing your family basically your whole life because I, I think the quote was, that's what you know best, photography. Well, what took you to this journey? So I spent over 20 years photographing and telling other people's stories and celebrating other people's stories. So for me, photographing my family was just something I did always, you know, to, to be around my family. They just got used to me with a photograph, uh, with a camera. So now to come out um, and share this body of work publicly um, is, is different from all of the other work that I've done and very exposing. We have the first image you ever published of your family. It was in New York Magazine. Um, what does that capture, Magazine. what does that say uh, about your family that you wanted to reveal and that you thought would resonate? So there's a story that is kind of seared in my brain um, from over 20 years ago when I made this made this photograph. Um, I was a student at the International Center of Photography on the Upper East Side, and I was really trying to kind of prove myself as an artist, and I really wanted to be taken seriously as an artist. And I'm outside trying to be cool with my friends at a taking a cigarette break, and um, a Norwegian classmate of mine. Um, who was doing a project at the time about capitalism in America, pointed to this, this group of women across the street that were approaching, and he said, look at those vulgar women in their fancy fur coats. And I nodded in agreement, and I, I agreed. Um, they looked pretty outrageous and ostentatious. And then as they came closer, I started to panic, and my heart started racing because I realized they were my family walking oh. towards us. My mom, my grandmother, and my aunt on their Wednesday art appreciation class. So as they come towards me, they start screaming my name. Jillian, oh my God, what are you doing up here? <laughs> so um, at that moment, I felt kind of outed. Um, and that's when I realized that I really wanted to explore that, that feeling, that, that tension um, so I just started photographing my family everywhere. And, so because that and picture, that was your grandfather in the doorway. So you were photographing your family. And then, as I understand, a narrative started to build when you were looking back at these photographs of your family. And, and what, does, what is that narrative that you saw build there? Well, my family, they're a, a very vigorous, like they're, they're great characters. So my grandparents were really my first photographic muses and I would get commissions to do fashion assignments. And I wasn't really interested in using models um, as my muses to tell narratives and stories. So I was really lucky that certain editors appreciated what I did and they allowed me to use my family as the models. So in that picture of my grandfather in the door, it's really a fashion shoot mm. and he's the model. Oh. Um, but I've just always been interested in family narratives and, and family stories. So I kind of, my family were really generous in allowing me to be part of my, my pictures. I know that you documented how your family dynamic changed over decades. In the book, we see how differences in political views in your family created a rift. Uh, but you say this book is not about politics or the differences that we have and we should have as family members, but more about the resiliency. Yeah, I think um, a narrative came about in 2016 that I did not anticipate. Um, my, my family became um, very passionate Trump supporters. And I continued to do what I did. And through my photographs and um, what I do, I tried to really navigate my relationship to that 
shift in our family dynamics. But uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but um, so the last four years have really been um, the narrative kind of became more political. Um, at the end, though, really coming to the um, conclusion that that our family is really resilient. Well, it's a fascinating documentary, a, a documentation, I should say, of a family story. I, when I knew you were coming on, I went on and looked at, since I've had Moses, who's now 29 months, how many photos I have of him on my iPhone. <laughs> it is in the thousands. I have thousands of pictures. And when you look back at them, the story of your life is within now our phones, not just the old school albums that we have now tucked under the bed with the little plastic. So it's a phenomenal book. Congratulations on it. And Jillian's book, Family Matters, is available now.